Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I will show you how to make this super do bracelet with pastel colors. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video, in this way you motivate me to make more tutorials like this. Now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are one color of 11 seed beads in white and five colors of super dew beads. They are white, green, purple, blue and pink. They are like pastel colors. Of course, uh, if you don't have so much colors, you could use less. You could use two or three colors only. And what else I wanted to tell you that if you check description, you will find a full list of materials, my Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you will get if you decide to become a member of this channel. And... What else I'm using here? I'm using a clasp, lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. You could use other type of clasp you like, like a magnetic one or a toggle clasp. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And if you're not familiar with the different beads and supplies for beading, here is introduction to beading series at this top corner and uh, there you could see everything you need. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, and now I have about an arm span of thread on my needle and what I'm going to do is take this beautiful white super do then I'm going to take three white seed beads size 11 -0. you could use 10 -0 if you want and here I'm taking my lobster's claw clasp and I'm going to take three more of these beautiful white seed beads and I'm going to slide all of those down. Okay, now I have this. And here, guys, what I want to do is make a knot. And I make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And I pull. And then what I want to do is make one more knot and pull again. Okay. Now I have this and what I want to do now is reinforce this joint here. Okay, now I have this. Now uh, I zigzag through my work. I was going through this super do through this hole and then I went through its other hole like this and like this zigzagging through my work. And now I'm going to start with my next color which is green and I'm taking a super do in green color and I want to slide it down. Now I'm going to turn my super do in this direction and I'm going through its other empty hole as I'm exiting from this hole, see where my thread is. I'm going in its other empty hole, zigzagging through this super do. Okay, now I have this. Then what I want to do is take my middle color which is white and then again take this green color and I'm going to slide those down and I arrange as I slide those down I arrange the white to go in this direction and the green to go in the opposite direction so I have this and as I'm exiting through this hole again, I do the same thing and I zigzag through this green bead and then through the white and through the following green. 
and what I do is that I pull and I have this first step ready okay then I go as I'm exiting through this hole of the green you see where my thread is now I'm going through the other hole and through the white super dual then I go back through the white again in this direction okay now imagine that I'm here because I will repeat the same thing uh, as I did when I was here so I will take one green super dual I'm going to slide it down and turn it in this direction then what I do is that I go through its other empty hole like this zigzagging through it you see through one of the holes and then through the other hole zigzagging now I'm going to take a white and a green like I did here in this step okay a white and a green super dual and slide those down and here I guess you intuitively could say how to arrange them which one goes where so the white goes in this direction and the green goes in that direction and again I go through its other hole and through the next two beads and pull now here I will do an additional step to finish my candy my first candy and this is to take one super dual of the green color slide it down and then turn it in this direction and after that go through its other empty hole and then through all of the other super dual beads in this direction through the other three and you have this and I guess now guys you know what to do in order to finish your candy and it is to take another super dew slide it down and your intuition probably tells you where it should go it should go in this direction with the empty hole and then you go through this super dew and through the next three and you exit here before the last one okay then I go through the green and through the white you see where I'm going I'm not going through this green only through the white okay and then I go like this and I'm here where I was here in the beginning and this is where I start my next candy from I take now a purple which is my next color here in line of course you could do it with two or three colors but I prefer to have these beautiful pastel candies and sliding this bead down I'm going through its other empty hole you see I'm zigzagging like this then I take one white bead slide it down turn it in this direction and I need another purple one slide it down and turn it in the other direction like this with the empty hole in this side okay then I go through the purple white and purple like this and then I go through the purple and the white and then again through the white then I'm going to repeat the same thing a purple 
go through its other empty hole. Then a white, the central color and one more purple. I arrange it like this, so the empty hole goes in the other direction. Okay, so I'm going through the purple, white and purple. Okay, now I guess you, you know what's coming up next. Here you need another purple to finish this shape. Okay, I take purple, slide it down. And when I slide it down, I know where I should turn it. It tells me. Okay, and I go through its other empty hole. And through all of the bits in this direction. And I pull. Then I take another purple. And I attach it the same way. Slide it down. Turn it in this direction. and go through all of the beads like this not exiting through the last one though okay i'm exiting from this hole here and then again the same thing purple and white and i'm not exiting out of the last one i'm exiting only out of the white and then through the white then the next color which comes is a blue one but i will let you do this by yourself here because it is absolutely the same thing and if you rewind this video and watch the previous steps from here and from here you will be able to repeat it and repeat this alternating the colors these four colors until uh, you have four of them and i'll be back okay guys and now i'm up to my fourth element which is pink and i'm doing absolutely the same thing as before Only the color is different, everything else is the same. Adding those beads, arranging them, going through their holes. In the same, absolutely the same manner. And what I did for this bracelet is that I did 12 elements like this, alterating the colors. So I did this, this sequence of four colors, then I repeated this two more times and I had 12 elements and this was enough for my wrist. If you have a larger wrist, uh, you could add extension chain or make some more elements. Okay, now I'll see you uh, at the end and show you how I finish this. Okay guys, and this is what I have when I continue beading. I'm here at my 12th element, which will be the last one of my bracelet. And here I'm adding my last bead, as you may see, like I did before. Okay. Then I do the familiar steps. My goal is to exit out of this white bead. I'm exiting through its hole here. And what I need to do is take my jump ring, here it is, and I'm going to take six white beads, okay, I have six of them, and I'm taking my jump ring as well, and I'm going back in circle through this white super duo, through its empty outside hole, and I pull. Then I'm going to reinforce this. And 
and after that I will go through some beads here in this direction and I will find a place to make a knot Okay, let's make my knot here. I'm making here a loop. I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I pull and then by the way you could repeat this knot several times by zigzagging through your work. And when you're ready Cut this thread as close as possible to your work. Okay, and now your candy pastel super duo bracelet is ready. Okay, guys, so now my pastel candy super duo bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. In this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week, and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Uh, share them mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And you will also find their uh, link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member. So this was all from me. Bye bye.